So as you might have noticed, if you've been playing Wuthering Waves, the game does not like to run very smoothly. And I did actually find a way to make it run a little smoother. So the first thing you will need is Riva Tuner. Now if you don't know what Riva Tuner is, it's essentially a tool that helps you do stuff like this. Uh, now all that this does is it shows you how much of your computer is used by your games, right? That's essentially all that it does, but it has an additional feature which we'll be using. Now, Riva Tuner is actually pre-packaged with MSI Afterburner, which is what I would recommend you to get. And there is like a million guides as to how to set up MSI Afterburner. And a lot of the options are personal preference. So I would just recommend you to look up some MSI Afterburner guides and they should set you up well. Now, uh, what we actually want to look at is this line below everything where it says frame time below you see this line and you see that this line is very um yeah, it's barely it barely can be called a line now what this this is actually measuring is the amount of time between your input and when the game reacts right so every spike here is the game stuttering right if you switch characters you can see that the game is struggling a little too the, the game is lagging a little, it is Sorry. struggling to keep up, and yeah, it is very stuttery. So, how do we fix this? Uh, the fix is very simple. Once you have MSA Afterburner, Riva Tuner is going to be installed alongside with it. And what you need to do is take your Riva Tuner, that's how Riva Tuner works, that's how Riva Tuner looks, and all that you need to do is where it says frame rate limit, frame rate limit, Set it to 60, press enter, and then look at this. Suddenly the line is perfectly smooth. So what I am guessing is happening is that the game's built-in frame limiter is kind of terrible, which causes all of the stutters. However, if you limit the game using anything else to the exact same frame rate, it should be a lot smoother. It's not perfect, obviously, but the bumps are a lot, lot smaller and it does feel a little better like this. The one downside of this is this is not... Um, this will not only lock Wuthering Waves, but it will also lock every single game to 60 FPS. So you just have to remember to... Once you're done playing Wuthering Waves, you just go again, go back to frame rate limit, set it to zero, press enter, and there we go. Now, you're, now we are back, but obviously when you want to play with Ring Waves, if you if you want your game to run smoothly, go back to frame rate limit, type in 60, press enter, there we go. Now it's smooth again. So, uh, yeah, I hope that this helped you. And uh, I hope you're enjoying Wuthering Waves as much as I do. Anyway, I'll be back streaming the game tomorrow, but um, until then, goodbye.